the origin of these lamps is really in water vessels, but for me, they've always felt a bit like musical instruments. So if there's one thing that I'm looking forward to one day is making an orchestra where we use these as trumpets and as cymbals. Um, what they've got is a very good tone. B is a series of lamps with a very strong silhouette that are made in India by hand, spun and then beaten and then patinated to make this very recognisable series. I started the Beat project by accident. The original objective was a not-for-profit trip to India where I took half a dozen students from the Royal College of Art, sponsored by the British Council, um, to work with street metal workers in Jaipur in northern India. These people who make these lamps traditionally have made water pots, which you see a lot in villages in India, um, to carry water from the well and to hold water in um, houses. Copper and brass have been used for years because they're hyperallergenic. But gradually these pots are being replaced by plastic water vessels and the metal workers are finding themselves without a job. So we sat around um, trying to find alternative functions for their skills. And you can see the heritage of the water pots very clearly in the shapes that we've got here. Quite a complicated series of actions to make a lamp that looks as simple as this one. We've got two spinnings that are joined together and welded. We've got hand hammering on the inside, but a perfectly smooth outside. So that takes a lot of skill and a lot of craft to get to a point where you've got something which um, is as finished looking as this, um, but with so many different welding and hammering and spinning activities. I didn't really have high hopes for this family. I didn't realise that it would become a staple for us here at Tom Dixon. Um, so it's great to see its family has grown with um, two or three larger versions, several colour finishes, and it's been a long-standing success in the collections.